All right, guys, don't get excited again. This is primer again. Um, I thought it was pretty much ready for, for my, uh, my actual paint, but uh, since I didn't get a full coverage the other day when the compressor messed up, I uh, really can't see much in, in the dark in there in that garage. My garage is so dark. I got it out here this morning going over it, and holy smoke, there were sand scratches and spots. and So I pretty much spent all day uh, fixing a few more little, little areas and, and feather edge and more spots. Uh, but anyway, there's still a couple areas I'd like to fix, but I, I just ain't gonna mess with it. I'm I'm done with it so uh, Anyway, I'm gonna come out in the morning. It's supposed to be 50s or 60s again tomorrow and sunny, so uh, I'm gonna sand it all down dry sand it blow it off wipe it down with wax and grease remover and I'm gonna hit it with the single stage uh, uh, It's hot rod satin black. I think is what it is. It's summit brand I'll try that and see what kind of sheen it gets. But anyway, that's pretty much it. Uh, I did get some pretty heavy dry spray up on the top rails up there because that part was actually in the sun. The sun was coming through up there. So it kind of sucks. But uh, anyway, pretty janky way I had to do it. And as I've said before, I'm a true redneck and I, I get it done, basically. Engine hoist at the front. I did tie a piece of rope on it because... This is going to stay out here overnight, and I'm afraid this thing bleeds off, and I'm afraid it'll bleed off in the middle of the night, and I don't want it hitting down there. So I tied off a rope uh, from up there to the chain. That way it'll hold it. Uh, now back here, I've got the rope going over a beam to my truck. That's how I hoisted it. I tried to hoist this by myself this morning, and I was going to tie it off to the leg over there, and I hurt my back. So... Ended up tying it to the truck, and if it would have pulled the carport down, I wouldn't give a shit anyway. So I'd have just re put it back up and welded it all up. So, anyway, this chassis is really not that heavy. Uh, this is pretty heavy beams on this thing. So, anyway, it kind of sucks. I got to sand it again, but that's what I get for having that silly ass air compressor that keeps breaking down on me. Anyway. It's good enough. It, uh, like I said, there's a couple of layers I would like to fix. I'm just not. I'm not going to mess with it. I mean, by the time it's all stuff put on it and, and on on the car and wheels on and everything, it's uh, yeah, you're going to have to really know where them spots are. But I'd really like to have blocked around this real good because uh, it does have some little ripples around it. But uh, I'm going to try again tomorrow, going around it with some little bitty little bitty pieces of sandpaper and see how much better I can get it. But, Anyway, more fun tomorrow.